everyone. Welcome to our next virtual kids video. Uh, this one is on Valentine's Day cards. And I am your host. I am Chelsea and I'm the head curator of the Wyndham Textile and History Museum, aka the Mill Museum. So today we're going to be making Valentine's Day cards and you can get a kit from us at millmuseum.org slash current events. And in there, there's all sorts of different goodies. There's quite a few pre-done little cards of different colors. Uh, this one's nice darker pinks. I have a light pink one here too. And you'll also get all of these really nice cutouts and things like that. Um, little hearts like this. Ooh, that way you can read it. <laughs> um, and a bunch of little hearts, buttons, ribbons. You're gonna have a bunch of different things to make a card of your choosing. So I want you guys to be artistic with this. Have fun. The whole point of a Valentine's Day card is to send out a little piece of you. Now, here's a good question. How many of you know why we celebrate Valentine's Day? Why do we send cards to each other for Valentine's Day? Well, that, of course, is a history lesson. So St. Valentine actually is a Roman priest. Uh, he was named Valentinus and also known as St. Valentine. He died on February 14th, 269, uh, see CE current era <laughs> and although the the holiday was not really celebrated right away right after his death um, the greeting card association actually credits Valentinus with creating the very first handwritten Valentine's card now of course he probably didn't call it a Valentine's card because that's really weird to call the card after yourself but you know um, so what had happened is during the reign of Claudius II, Valentine was put in jail, and he actually, according to uh, rumor at least, created a relationship with the, uh, uh, the jailer's daughter. So on the eve of his death, he wrote her a card and signed, from your Valentine. And that's just, you know, saying, you know, from me or from you, uh, but that, that stuck. And Valentine's Day became a holiday after that. Uh, so, it was declared in 498 as St. Valentine's Day by Pope Glacius. So um, it's pretty cool to learn about the history of that and how long this tradition has been coming. Now, of course, Valentine's Day has been the biggest seller of cards next to what I assume is Christmas. Uh, so instead of going out and spending lots of money on cards, we should definitely make our own. So with that being said, I'm gonna to put together my card. And of course you're gonna need a few supplies of your own. Um, glue sticks are always handy. And a glue gun, of course, make sure you have your parent with you. And um, that way you can attach some ribbon and buttons and heavier items. So there's many different ways that you can lay out your card. I have a plan of just doing a very simple card like this something like that, and maybe some little hearts down here and a ribbon up top. You could also do something like this and kind of have these a little off-centered. I find that simpler cards are easier to read and a little bit more fun, and you can write a little bit more of a custom message inside. All right, let's get this card put together. Okay, so I got my first heart on there. I'm gonna put my next one on. And luckily hearts are the same way, so I don't have to worry about putting this on backwards. At least these are. If you are doing the I love you, make sure you put the glue on the wrong side. All right, there's that so far, so that's pretty, pretty good. And I think it needs a little bit more pizzazz. So let's put a couple little hearts in the bottom. Um, let's do this one. It's okay if you get glue on your hands, this is fun. There we go. There's some more hearts on there. And now I'm gonna do some ribbon. So if you are doing a little bow, what I suggest the easiest way is to just cross your ribbon 
and I'll hold that so you can see it. I just cross it, I don't tie it, and then I'm gonna glue a button over that so that way I don't have to tie a perfect ribbon because I cannot tie a perfect ribbon. We're just gonna put this on there. Oops. And just be really careful not to burn yourself on the glue. And I think I'm gonna use a blue button Pull off some of those little hot glue gun spider webs. And there we go. So it's a nice simple card and you'll get enough supplies in this kit uh, to make a couple. So you'll be able to make some uh, two cards. And then if you have extra supplies, of course, you can make other things like little ornaments or maybe gift tags, whatever you'd like. Uh, these do come with quite a few supplies. So again, Thank you from the Mill Museum, the Wyndham Textile and History Museum. And if you want to pick up one of these kits and haven't yet, visit our website, millmuseum.org or .com. Millmuseum.com slash current events is where you can find this. Thank you guys. Until next time.